want this grass? You want this grass? Troopers, you want that? Tasty grass. Oh yeah, it's tasty grass. Hello and welcome to Trail Building 101. Uh, today we're going to talk about bench cutting through grass. It's no secret, grass is a pain in the ass when you're trying to bench cut through it. This has a lot to do with the deep roots that grass builds. Um, it's really hard to penetrate through and it can really slow you down while trail building. And it is one of the rare occasions where I find the hoe is not as effective as the shovel. Uh, I definitely um, prefer the shovel. I've developed a bit of a technique, something that I find to be quite effective when bench cutting through grass. I would like to share that with you. So without further ado, check out my technique on how to bench cut uh, through grass effectively with a shovel. Basically what I do is, and you can see I've started here, I've started this cut line. So I'm gonna do a cut line. I step in, I push forward, I pull back, and I do one. Now I do the same thing here. I push forward, I pull back, and you can see how that really lifts the, the soil up. And that's two. And then I do the same thing. Push forward, pull back, move over, that was three. Then I push forward, I pull back, that was four. And the counting is important because I'm pushing forward, I'm pulling back, that's five. On the fifth one, I'm gonna come in perpendicular and I'm gonna drive that sucker in and I'm gonna pull it up, okay? You can see already how, how uh, eager that um, cut is ready to go. So I basically just repeat that all along the slope that I wanna build. So when you are done your grass cutting, it should look basically like this. Again, you can see the perpendicular cuts here. The reason we do that, you can see another cut there, there. The reason we're doing that is that otherwise it creates this giant long um, kind of like grass caterpillar. So you can uh, kind of calve off the, the uh, grass um, pieces in chunks. Um, another hot tip is, uh, and you can't see it, but uh, a sharp shovel. Um, I sharpen the shovel before I uh, come out to cut grass. Um, it's a key thing. I use a grinder, works really great. So next is uh, time for the hoe. And this is gonna be a different cut than uh, the regular, um, you know, normally with the hoe, you're dropping the hoe in here and you're pulling. With this, we're going to basically come in and we're going to start pulling this back like that, almost like sod, but we can go in quite deep because our shovel and sorry, I'm doing this one-handed, but I'm sure you get the gist of it. But we've gone quite deep with our spade. So now, even one-handed, you can see this grass is coming right up. So you just basically come along. You can see the centipede is sort of getting big. And so then we hit the perpendicular and boom, centipede dies. Same thing, again, I'm still one-handed. That's how easy this is, but once you've um, done your first cut, you may actually just be able to come along and again, this is one-handed, so it's not the best, but pull it back with your hands. And here you can see, now you can really see that fuzzy caterpillar centipede thing happening. But like, boom, that just gets pulled back and you can kind of continue that all the way along just by hand. Um, and with two hands, it's way easier. Once you're done that cut, you're basically golden, again, one-handed here, to just kind of pull that all the way back um, and make the trail as wide as you need it to go. And then finally, like right now it's raining. It rained a lot last night. Um, and it, uh, that's just gonna make the ground softer. As I'm sure you are aware, uh, dry ground is hard ground. And uh, with the grass, it can be like concrete. So, you know, uh, I did all of this here in three passes which is remarkable considering uh, it is grass. And if you were to do it with a hoe, I guarantee you, you would be doing five passes. That is the hot tip. Um, again, I would do five. You can do you know, five and then a perpendicular. You could do three and a perpendicular depending on how thick the grass roots are. Here it's pretty thick and I'm finding five works really well. And you can really move um, along here and actually get bench cutting done faster, I think, 
just wiping off my gloves. You can get bench cutting done faster um, than even like, you know, some types of soil if uh, you use this technique, which is a stark contrast to if you were just trying to hoe grass. Hoeing grass is uh, super shitty. So there you go. Um, I hope you learned something. Ah! Uh, if you have a better suggestion on how to bench cut through grass, I'm all ears. Please share it up. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Why are you giving me the butt? What's wrong with you? <laughs> As always, uh, see you in the comments and see you on the trails. Thanks for watching.